Welcome back. You're watching the Late Night News reacting sharply to Delhi Chief Minister's remarks in an interview with NETV that corruption allegations in the Commonwealth Games Organising Committee should be looked into. The Organising Committee Chairman Suresh Kalmati has asked Sheila Dixit to look at the corruption allegations in her own departments. In a press statement released today, Kalmati said, and I quote, Delhi Chief Minister Mrs. Sheila Dixit's aspersions on corruption in the Organising Committee Commonwealth Games are most disappointing and uncalled for. It is not right to deflect and point fingers at others when she must indulge in self-reflection or corruption in her own departments. He also said that despite a series of attacks in the run-up to the Games, I was quiet and I wanted the Games to succeed. Keeping quiet should not be interpreted as a sign of weakness, nor should patience be seen as a sign of guilt. It was more important to focus on the task of conducting the Games well. Well, the Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit yesterday had said that at the moment uh, the needle of suspicion pointed to the organizing committee headed by Suresh Kalmari. She said that the corruption charges were very disturbing and are not going to be pushed under the carpet. Real corruption seems to find its roots to the loans given to the organizing committee to the tune of 1,600 crore rupees. Not ruling out corruption in some government departments, she commented that it was heartening that PM, the Prime Minister took such an instantaneous decision to order a probe. The Prime Minister had set up a high-level committee headed by former CAGVK Shunglu to probe the organizing of the CWG. Now, as the assembly elections in Bihar draw closer, the battle between parties is hotting up with BJP and Nitish Kumar today hitting back at the Prime Minister. Senior BJP leader Arun Jaitley said that central funds are not property of the Congress party and Nitish Kumar said that the central funds over which the Prime Minister launched the attack on the Bihar ruling alliance yesterday are actually unusable by his own government. This is the Kendra मिलने वाली राशि का सही तौर पर इस्तेमाल करें मुझे अफसोस के साथ कहना पड़ता है कि बिहार सरकार ने इस फर्ज को पूरा नहीं किया है राज्य सरकार को सदुपयोग या दुरुपयोग नहीं करना है ये सीधे सेंट्रल एजेंसी और शुरू में सेंट्रल एजेंसी ने बिल्कुल खर्च नहीं किया हमारी सरकार बनी हमने इस पर जो दिया और प्लानिंग कमीशन में जाकर वार लगाया किसान और उस समय चार साल पूरा होने जा रहा है खर्च नहीं हुआ है इसमें बिहार का कसूर नहीं है आपकी सेंट्रल एजेंसी का कसूर है जो केंद्र सरकार पैसा इकट्ठा करती है वो इस देश के टैक्स पेयर्स देते हैं वो कांग्रेस पार्टी की संपत्ति नहीं है इस देश की जनता की संपत्ति the tragedy at a temple in Banka district in Bihar, 10 people are feared dead, 7 are seriously injured in a stampede that took place during a ceremony at a Durga temple. Around 30,000 devotees had gathered for the Navaratri festival. There are reports that there was a commotion. Injured pilgrims have been shifted to hospitals in Tarapur, Banka and Samuganj. Pakistan has reacted strongly to Indian Army Chief's recent comments that Pakistan and China are the major irritants for India's security. A statement issued by Pakistan Foreign Office says that the Pakistan takes serious exception to the reported statement of the Indian Army Chief about his threat perception from Pakistan. His comments about war under the nuclear scenario are not only irresponsible but also jingoistic and unwise. But after green buildings to reduce global warming, now the concept of carbon neutral buildings is catching up. These buildings actually consume 70% less energy than regular buildings. Sam Daniel sends us a report from Denmark's first public building to go carbon neutral. The new level of green architecture. This university building in Copenhagen consumes 70% less electricity than a regular building and even generates its own power from the sun. The design, called a green lighthouse, utilizes sunlight and ventilation to the maximum and costs just 15% more than traditional buildings. Buildings take up about 40% of our energy consumption and also with regards to energy efficiency as such, you could say that buildings kind of a sleeping giant that we all have to, to wake up. And India could take a leaf out of Denmark's book. I'm sure this technology can also be used in our climates. Encouraged by the green success of this building, Denmark is now developing carbon-neutral houses as well. 
The European Union has made near carbon neutral buildings mandatory from 2020. And this is an example of the kind of new architecture this part of the world is to see soon. At Copenhagen, Sam Daniel, Find It TV. Time for a quick break, but on the other side, look who's the latest sexy snake to slither into Hollywood.